Hey, what's up? This is a weird angle, but uh, it's gonna have to do for now. Didn't get much sleep, stayed up late last night. Uh, which results in strange stories. Yes, it seems like every night at 8 p.m. I develop... Ooh, these socks smell so good. Sorry, <laughs> when they go through the wash, <laughs> they smell really good and floral. But at 8 p.m., I get very depressed and sad and angry and I turn into a hate machine. And... fucked up. But I have reasons. It's not mindless. It's like, it's of course I blame my family because I'm an angsty person <laughs> now, but it's like my mom and dad, as days go on, they bicker more and have subtle kind of angst towards each other, and it's very, very understandable. My mom always feels left out and neglected and underappreciated for all of her things. They're my dad and my dad and my mom both don't know how to properly communicate anymore. But I think with they don't know how to communicate with like humans anymore in a civil way. And I totally see it. And I would like to think it's a simple fix. Like, you know, someone on the outside looking in just needs to tell them, like, hey, you're, you're failures. You know, you've gone through your life, you met someone, you had kids, and you just forgot how to communicate. You had kids, and you had just the mother raising them. The dad was off, and he thinks he's helping us. Yes, financially, thank you, but now that I think about it, it's like, not now, but like, I've always thought about this, but if I, if we were in a situation where we had less income, to the point where my dad was around more, like, he worked less just to have enough, and not more than enough. We would be fine. We'd be better. As a family, we'd be closer. But no, my dad's just always off. In a way, and... It's just a fast-paced life. And my mom just, once again, without a husband figure always being around during the day, or when the time matters, and they both developed these, and I have to bring some light in so I can keep checking, but they both developed like these toxic personalities. You know, my dad wants really nice things, and it's totally understandable, but And he just doesn't think about the human factor that much. And then there's my mother. She just does the same thing every day. So does my dad, but like... At least she has like some freedom. She's a housewife and she does a very good job of doing housewife things. And I appreciate it. My dad, I can honestly say I really don't appreciate it, because 
he's never really been around, but there's, and then I feel like, oh, there's no use anymore, it's too late, I'm kinda off, I'm independently thinking, there's no use to him giving me lessons, cause I don't want his fucking lessons and teach anything, he's on fucking 22, but late now, I don't wanna listen to him, I don't wanna listen to my mother. Why should I? I don't trust either of them. They're both toxic with how they treat themselves. It's morally and emotionally, it's it's all about material wants and money. Yeah, money, money, money. Material wants, material things. But when it comes to how we feel, it's like they say, they both say, I'm here for you, but when it actually comes down to it, and it's time to be like, hey, I, yo, I want to talk, it's like, how do they? And they, all they want to do is be like, be like me, be like me. It's like, no, it's late, it's too late. 22, I'm, I've been thinking on my own ever since you two became failures, socially. That's the truth of it. I had to start thinking on my own when no one wanted to hang out with me in school and when my mom and dad had drinking problems and went through divorce and got back together. I think like, why would I want to take lessons from them? Of course they're quick to point fingers and say, and point, not point fingers in another way where it's like, well, I didn't do anything. It's like, well, yes, you did, because you're a part of it. You caused, you're part of the problem, probably by doing nothing. That's where neglect comes in. You were part of the problem when you did something and you did nothing. You, you probably are part of the problem, since I'm thinking of both of you as people I don't want to be around too much. What, and what do I want from all of this? I want to hang out with my family as a whole. And then there's my brother. He's fucked up. It's like, look at him. You've raised him. And look at What is he doing financial? He's a fucking baby. He's brain dead and Oh, you think that's just how life went? No. Look at what you made. And I just want to be alone in my room every day. And what do I do here? I refine myself, my morals and everything. I figure out what not to do and what to do in life. And the world just gives me reason every day to stay inside my room. Not go out. Every day just gives me a reason. It's not saying I'm not. Af I'm, it's not saying I'm afraid of risk, but I just get consistent answers back from the world. And it's not how it doesn't help that everyone's on their phone these days. I'm gonna take a random bar. Grab an apple pie today. But yeah, that's that. That's just like what I'm dealing with. Ooh, that tone of voice was so dumb. And I have this constant lump in my throat that's like, Cry, 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 cry. And... But I can't. For six months now, I've been having trouble crying. Another problem is, and it's very general, it's like, just look at the bullshit I've had to deal with. I just looked at my reflection, I can just see all the bullshit I've had to deal with, with this family. 
constant fights. My mom, dad, my brother. Where do I end up? In my room. And if I partake in it, it gets violent. Because guess what? You can't change stupid. So I just want to bust the answer to their head. Until they stop breathing. And then I'll put... Then they'll be put out of their misery. I just want them to realize who they are and what they've become. Look at this house. <sighs> Look at this house. There's one memory that sticks in my head where we had a moment together. We're at the dining room table playing Clue, the board game. We had a good laugh and it was fun. I've seen it all from my perspective and what I know is that I do not want I don't want to become anything that my mother father or brother have become Tapping out, Jet. It's rainy.
so that's what I've been dealing with. And I guess I'll repeat some things that I've posted on social media. Is that my mom's siblings are known to be just a bit crazy in comparison, a bit drastic, a bit. I wouldn't even call them normal. Not that my mom's normal, normal at all, but. It's just, don't have that mentality, like, I'm the only normal one. If you have to say that, then you're probably not. Same with my dad, like, he has some crazy family members. He's like, oh, I'm like, seem to be the only normal one. And it's like... Well, yeah, in comparison, but I wouldn't directly say that, because you've all got flaws. But... Um... And... With, you think you're gonna raise some normal children with the way, with the, how history has been causing this domino effect of crazy family members and crazy brothers and sisters that, and they get with people and create some crazy, um, kids. You expect me to be normal, and you question yourself, why did we make some insane children? I don't know, look, try look, looking at yourself in the mirror. Try looking at your family, and you're repeating history. And only until after you have kids, do you think, I don't want to be anything like my mother, or my mother's mother, or my father, or my father's father. Oh. Maybe you should have gotten your shit together before you thought of accidentally having kids. Or maybe after the first kid, you would have thought, you thought, we need to get our shit together and figure it out quick before we have another kid. And then you go through life. Whoever I'm talking about, but... Go through life feeding your kid, making sure he's safe. But not teaching him a lesson. Only feeding him and giving him what he wants. Because you don't know what else to do. Because you've, you've only been a parent for so long.
and that kid goes through school. Not being able to make friends for some reason. And then, once he gets to the higher grades, he's put with the special kids. And that's hard to make friends. And then he becomes self-aware. Starts thinking on his own. And knowing that he can't communicate with the special kids. Because he knows he's not special. And that's just hard to make friends and... And I do the same thing. You know what? Screw this. <laughs> I'm gonna sit on the internet. Because the internet is full of people I can relate to. And that have problems like me. And that's exactly what it is. You find something messed up on the internet being like, that person probably understands me. And I go, go throughout my whole life doing the same thing. Because I tried to, tried to socialize. Nothing good came out of it. I was just a weird kid. Uh, and I just created this domino effect all throughout high school. But then I try to socialize with a girl and it works out and it gets, it's a bumpy road, but then that's, by then I've been thinking for myself, creating opinions on my own and speculations with my own brain, not encouraged by anything else. I think, it, I think it's important to think for yourself, not being encouraged by, like, media or social media or just other people that you might be jealous of. Because uh, I really hate when my dad or mom says, like, like listen to me. Like, look, like fuck off. Seriously. Like, it's a bit late. Very late for that. Like, why should I listen to you? Why should I listen to my mom? It's like being pulled in both ends. But for some reason, I'd rather listen to someone that can feed themselves, cook for themselves, do laundry. I don't know, but then I see I'm being, I'm choosing sides and I, I don't do that. I mean, seriously. It's such a stupid thing to say, but why can't everyone get along? Why can't everyone take a step back, stop being so tunnel vision focused around their own lives, and just 
look at how much of the world is becoming shit and how like look at look at who became present look at our history as the world it's been a, just nothing but war for a while forever There's a religion on war, people are like fighting on social media all the time, like goddamn. Let's just like hang out as a family, like cooperate and just get along and stop thinking about ourselves and like what offends us, like all these little things. Even though I've just been talking about my whole life. life. But it's something I'm genuinely sad about. Here's my mother. I'm gonna help her with groceries because I appreciate her doing this every week.